So let's take a quick deep dive and look at make files and things like make clean and how this works. When we're building Android, what's going on? So we see this Android Lollipop, we go into the build folder. We've got a terminal open you know, to our Android Lollipop folder. We're gonna set up our build environment like we, we've been doing so far. And when we do that, we're actually running this file right here This in the build folder, the environment setup dot shell file. So if we open that with gedit or jedit, and we take a look, this is what's happening. It has all of these different options and functions in it. Things like lunch. We didn't just make that up. It's in the file as an option for what to do. Um, we see C roots. We can change to the directory of the, or top directory of the tree. We can um, build the M for different modules or make modules and lots of different tools that are in here. When we run a command, it is actually doing something from these lists. So we set these up by um, invoking or calling that dot build forward slash environment setup dot shell file. So we've set up our environment, we're going to build, and let's take a look here. at some of our other build uh, building material here. So in our out folder, we have our out, our target, our product, our Shamu that we just built before. And we look at this thing and this thing's huge. All right, it's got, uh, it's still adding up all the stuff here. We've got 10, 21 gigabytes of files in, just inside of this Shamu folder that we built for building that. Now notice what you flash to your phone is only about, you know, 400 megabytes or so, um, or actually in this case, I'm sorry, only 200 megabytes, it's only 183 megabytes, but all the things that we put together to make that before we compressed and compiled and all those things was 22 gigabytes worth of stuff. That's a lot of space that's being used up and one of the things that we can do to clear that up, like if we're gonna build for a different phone, um, like we see from our list here, of course, you know, we chose 16 for Shamu before, we'll go ahead and pick it again, but we can actually clean up all that extra junk that got built um, by running the make clean command. So we can get rid of all of that. So we have more space for building other things. Of course, we could just right click and delete the um, out uh, folder itself and a new one would be built the next time that we did a make command. However, this is just a handy tool way to do things. We're going to clean, make clean for the Shamu device and it's going to go through and read the different uh, different files that are associated with the Shamu and there should be a um, file specifically that tells it when it's time to clean up what exactly gets cleaned up. Um, here we see the make file and it's just running this other file here in the core. So we jump into our core. So by running this make file, it's actually just linking to this main.make file. And inside of that, we see that it is setting up some environmental uh, settings, environment being the terminal environment that you're in. It checks for a few tools. It'll ditch if you don't have all of these tools available. It'll actually ditch you from the build so that you can uh, and give you an error. Notice these warnings and then errors. So it's saying, hey, here's the warning. And then it ditches from the build. It stops building and says, hey, here's what the problem was. And it goes through and checks for these different things like the proper version of Java, the proper tool setup, if you're using uh, Dex pre-op or not. If you're using different variant types, what other files do you need to have included? And then it's going to run the make files that are associated with that. Now notice that our um, make was actually completed already for this make clean. It's pretty fast just to delete the files that were in there. It took a whopping 43 seconds. But I just wanted you to see these and so that you're aware. And here's our, of course, our empty out folder because we 
that these make clean to clean it out. But just so you're aware, when we run these make commands, it's actually reading from that make file, which reads from the main file, which is then going to um, prepare uh, to do whatever command you you put on there by reading through that script. 